What's up everyone? Welcome to another Joyful Review. Today we're going to look at the Howard Benson Plug-in Suite by STL Tonality. Good to see you, everyone. Thanks again for stopping by on behalf of a Joyful Noise Music Studio in Fenton. My name is Larry, and before we go too much further, let's crank it up to 11. I don't know if this keyboard goes there, but maybe you can by liking, sharing, subscribing on this video. All the socials we have here with the studio so we can stay connected. So today we're going to look at the Howard Benson plugin suite. Howard Benson, a great producer of bands like My Chemical Romance, P.O.D., Hoobastain, Bon Jovi, just to name a few, obviously, <laughs> Grammy-nominated producer, uh, but he's put all of his work and all of his tones and created something with STL tonality to give us an opportunity to sound just as great as all those aforementioned bands. Now for today's review, we're gonna just play some pre-recorded stuff that I've demoed out. I'll show you a couple of the default settings that come with the plugin itself, and uh, give you an opportunity to hear this with the room microphone coming out of my KRK Rocket 5s, as well as the track being directly inputted into the video. So whatever headphones or speakers you're playing through will give you that sound. I wanna make sure that we get a good mix a uh, real mix, so there's no plugins, there's no EQing or anything. I'm trying to keep all of this as raw as possible. So let's get into it. All right, here we are back inside. Let's get Logic pulled up here. I've got a song that I've been working on uh, today to look at the Howard Benson guitar suite. I felt like it was only necessary to show you different tones working together at the same time because uh, Howard Benson worked with a couple different people um, at STL in order to create this suite. So this is amp number one, excuse me, amp number four, actually. They've got six amplifiers you can cycle through here. They each have, you know, varying type of uh, characteristics to them. Um, and then one or two of them here at the end, like this one specifically, is very great for your cleans. Uh, this is great for an acoustic kind of sound. Uh, and a bass, actually, if you'd like to plug in a bass guitar and get some bass tones, you can get that with this plugin. Uh, but this kind of right down here, this is kind of, I guess, what your signal path would be here, okay? You can switch over to pedals. You've got a overdrive, you know, tube screamer style pedal. Here's your delay and a reverb. And then you switch back over here, again, the amps and then the cabs section. So you can still load in your own IRs. Uh, bass included here. There's matching cabs that they've uh, preloaded for you on here, but you can manipulate the distance of the microphone. You can move the microphone back and forth. Like I said, very intuitive, very uh, easy to get down and dirty into the specifics of uh, where you place that microphone. So that's just a view of what the plugin looks like the moment you turn it on. So now let's take a look at what that track is that we opened up the video with, and I'll show you uh, which tone I use on each different guitar part. We got three parts going, although one of them is the intro of the song. So check this out. Pause it right there for you and switch over to this now lead drive. I'm playing the same thing, but now I switched over and I was using this as my drive amp. So what I did was I just selected amp four again, which is really great for the clean tones and uh, turned on some overdrive, turned on the tube screamer to give it just a little bit of edge. That way it can be more defined in the mix as hopefully I think you can hear. <laughs> this rhythm section here, this is the amp I'm using for that.
cool. So that just shows you a little bit of where I placed the microphone for that particular cab sound. And uh, like I said, this section here, this cab section, like a lot of these plugins, you can get so you can get so detailed with where you place that microphone, how far it comes from the amplifier, and even uh, some of the things that you do to the microphone's capture ability. It's it's pretty extensive. These these plugins are very impressive. They are not messing around. So I'm actually gonna pull up one other track that I've got uh, pre-recorded for you guys, and uh, I'll show you what I did with that plugin. So that is an example of perhaps where you can take this plugin. But now let's dive back into the actual song itself here. And I'll show you that lead guitar part, especially uh, what uh, kind of tones I created for that one. So here is what that sounds like. That was a lot of fun there. So uh, let's get back there though. Let me show you once again. These are some more Howard Benson tones that I grabbed and uh, manipulated on my own here. Let's isolate these guitars and show you that once more. So show you what that sounds like. And I'm gonna try to switch between the tracks and show you what those amp settings are at. So just a couple more examples of what it's like to actually start mixing with the Howard Benson Guitar Suite uh, by STL Tonality. Real quick, before we wrap up today's video, you need to ask yourself if you are not only sounding cool, but looking cool while doing it. Well, look no further, because we can help. That's right, official Joyful Noise Studio merch is available now, with more to come. Click the link below to order a stylish t-shirt like this in your size today and support the studio wherever you're making noise. And there you have it, the Howard Benson Plugin Suite by STL Tonality. Uh, this is something that, again, I think any guitar player in this day and age can benefit from. If you live in an apartment or you're just traveling on the road and you are able to bring your laptop and a guitar with you, then you can get some great tones, you can write some really great demos and take it even a step further. Because a lot of this is packaged and processed in such a particular way that it's not just you scratching for tones. I mean, a lot of this they try to make ready out of the box for you. So any guitar player who wants to drop about 100 bucks, give or take, I think it's well worth the money. But I want to know what you do with this plugin or what you would like to do with this plugin. Drop your comment below to start a conversation. Let's see what you think about the Howard Benson plugin suite. And if you're interested in musical gear like this or anything else we've reviewed here on the channel, please stop by the studio or reach out to us anytime. We would love to connect you with those retailers to fulfill all of your musical needs. And that's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. On behalf of A Joyful Noise, the music studio in Fenton, my name is Larry, reminding you and encouraging you to keep making noise. We'll see you around.